This segment brought to you by Kansas Corn. Learn more at kscorn.com. Good morning. I've got my living room back for a little while. The kids and their mom had some errands to run. But you can see the evidence of kids around me. And, um, you know, whenever I am tempted to scream about the mess, I remember that I am really blessed by the mess. And I hope you can hang on to that idea, too, through the holidays. Um, I know that uh, many of you have finished your Christmas shopping, and some of you, probably like myself, um, have looked at your list and think, oh my gosh, I forgot, what am I going to get at this late moment? Well, I'll tell you what, I am a big believer in the gift of experience. So, find a way to give experiences, trips, um, may not be quite the thing today, but you know, in a few months they will be. And so, you know, give a couple of tickets, you know, on Amtrak or on a plane or just, uh, you know, um, a gift certificate for a hotel down the line. You know, you can get some good deals right now. But the other thing that I'm a big believer in is giving memberships. And you can give memberships to the zoo. And what a fantastic family gift. If you've got a whole family to buy for, then give them the gift of the zoo membership that they can use throughout the year. They can take all the kids. And it's not broken. It's not misplaced. It's not forgotten, you know, to the day after Christmas. Another thing is, uh, of course, one of my personal favorites, memberships into historical societies. So we have the Kansas State Historical Society, and I used to be president of the Shawnee County Historical Society, so that's got a special place in my heart. And of course, the Guardians of the Fort Wallace Museum, which is another one that's got a special place in my heart. Uh, the Friends of Fort Hayes, there are just so many of these groups throughout the state that do very good work and have very small budgets and membership means a lot. Now that we're moving into 2021 with high hopes of a better year, of course that is the bicentennial of the Santa Fe Trail. So a membership into the Santa Fe Trail organization, the Santa Fe Trail Association, which has a fantastic website if you go to santafetrail.org, you can find um, how you join the organization and you can find the different chapters along the way that um, you might want to belong to as well. There are chapters in every state that the trail passes through, all five states. And so lots of, lots of cool stuff happening there. Something else I want to remind you of, Around Kansas has a YouTube channel, Farming Unlimited has its own YouTube channel, and you can watch our videos there after they air on terrestrial TV, and watch them anytime, and please share with your friends. And our friends at the uh, Lone Jack Historical Society over in Lone Jack, Missouri, have started their own YouTube channel, so I would encourage you to Go over there and visit and support them in their uh, efforts to keep the museum going through trying times and share some incredible history in which Kansas played a huge role. And they're just doing a fantastic job. We shared one of the um, segments, I think last week or the week before, with Greg Higginbotham doing the uh, Ghost of Lone Jack and they have several other segments that they've done, and they are just spectacular. So please share the love. All right, got a great show for you this morning. Stay with us. In 1821, a trade route was opened from Missouri in the United States across prairies and mountains to Mexico. In 2021, we will mark 200 years of epic conflicts and grand adventures, larger-than-life personalities, and sweeping landscapes. Join us on an historic journey. The Santa Fe Trail lives on. Find us on social media or santafetrail.org. <laughs> 